So today I'm going to be talking about uh, Psalm's new latest update, mainly about uh, Light Shafts and its gizmo. So with that being said, uh, for this interior, let's say you wanted to add Light Shafts for the windows. So to do so, what you're going to need to do, I suggest doing this for the shell of like the shell archetype. Otherwise, you'll run into some issues sometimes. It's not guaranteed, but prevent those from happening. Just do it with the shell. So uh, go to the extensions tab here. Click the plus. Change the type to a light shaft. Then uh, select the shell mesh and then just go into edit mode. And then update corner A. Uh, so corner A is top left. Corner B is top right. Corner C is bottom left. Or corner D is bottom left. And then corner C is bottom right. Basically, it's in the order that the UI is. So you can't really get confused. We're just going to go ahead and update the positions for each of these. Then once you've updated them, calculate the center offset. And you can change the length to something like 3. We'll change this in a second, but now that you've done that, you can go on the left here and click the Solemns icon. And you'll see your the gizmos uh, showing up now. Pepper, I don't know why the why is this like offset? Well, let me try updating these again just in case something happened. I don't know why it's doing that, but let me just reposition it. there now that it's lined up or yeah mostly lined up I don't know let me try to get a bit better all right fuck it that's good enough once you've got it like set up there what you can do is let's say you wanted to point it over here like just select this vertice and click update light shaft direction and you'll see it's now pointing there you can also move the gizmo like this you can scale rotate and uh, just move it in general, like with this, with this gizmo here. You can also move the direction with this part here. I'm going to change the length so it's not so long. I'm also just going to rename the extension real quick. And then now with the settings. So for the density type, this is just the like how it'll look in game kind of like the style, I guess. I'll at the end of the video I'll make like a short segment that'll cover each of these just so you can see as reference what each of these look like. But for now we're just going to go with quadratic gradient. Leave it as the shaft volume type. Uh, if you want, you can also turn on scale by sun intensity. I usually use that. And we can just change the color to something like yellow. Uh, the intensity is obviously how bright it'll be. I'll just change this to like 8 so you'll be able to easily see it. For the flags, I usually use 36 as default. But you can additionally use 99, which will only show the light shaft if the sun is shining on it so oh wait that's flashiness i meant to set that for the flags then these you can just ignore really uh you don't really need to use those the uh, actually you only need to use these if you don't use scale by sun intensity i believe now we're just going to set the softness to like 0.5 and then that's pretty much it for this one then we're just going to uh, duplicate it by pressing shift D with the extension selected you can just move this over then I'm just going to uh, update the corners for this duplicated one
And we're just going to do the same thing again, just duplicate it and then move it over. Now that you've got it like how you want it set up, you can just go ahead and uh, export your Y type XML. And then we can just start up our server and test it. Now you can see there's our light shaft. Let's change the time of day so it's easier to see. I'm not sure why it's like ink almost or like purple, but maybe my time cycle. Let me turn the intensity up so it's even easier to see. Okay, but now what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, first I'm just going to turn it up so you can see the... Actually, I'm going to reset the colors to zero or like default. And then we can go ahead and check each uh, light shaft type so you can see what each looks like. Let me make sure I actually exported that. But yeah, now you can see the quadratic gradient. It's like obviously a gradient, but yeah, so now we can test each version. First up, we'll test the, we'll do constant.
this is what constant looks like it's obviously a lot brighter because it's you can, you can see it like cut off right away where it ends i guess this would be i don't know uh not too useful honestly in my opinion but it could obviously have its uses you've done it right so now we'll do soft This is what soft looks like. I think the edges are more like smooth, but it's also still pretty sh like defined, I guess. Now next up we'll do soft shadow. Here's what soft shadow looks like. Looks kind of buggy, honestly. It doesn't look good at all. Might have to do with the wrong flags being used. I don't know. Let's try changing the time of day for this one. No, this one doesn't look good at all. Okay, next up we have soft shadow HD. This one looks a little bit better. Uh, yeah, it seems like it's a little like less defined. It cuts off pretty quickly. Then what we have next is linear. And here's what linear looks like. Nothing crazy. Now we'll do linear gradient. Here's what linear gradient looks like. And then lastly we have uh, quad quadratic, since we started with quadratic gradient. And here's what quadratic looks like. 
uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you out, and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for more tutorials.